Hello! Today we're in the very north part of the Irish island in North Ireland and we're gonna see what this beach town is all about. Now I've never been here and my plan wasn't to come here, it was to go somewhere else, but I didn't plan that plan so we're not going for that plan. So we're on a journey, a trip, to just explore and see what's here. Let's go! Check this out, this is so pretty, it's a little windy, but look at the whole beach up here. And we're going, maybe you can see it, to that pointy way up there. What's the pointy? I don't know. We're gonna go find out. Okay, let's go explore that. Come down this trail with me. It's super pretty. Look at this. Can you see the trail? It's like going right by this dam. Let's jump cut to the trail. How is my leg kind of real? Look at this, you guys. This is so pretty. this bush what it's like an overgrown house plant what is this look at that and this beautiful trail that goes up here I was gonna take the other trail look it's like we're in a science fiction movie with a really muddy floor oh look we can see an old establishment. Where are we gonna find up here? Like I saw all sorts of old castles and old buildings and stuff. I'm really excited now. Now I'm not sure if this is coming across in the video, but there's so many buttercups in the field. And the clover is this really bright purple and the clouds are this beautiful gray. Now this is what you want to see when you're in the UK. No rain, super, super green because it rained all week and you're here on the weekend to have fun and beautiful fields of super bright color and random monuments in the middle of nowhere. Let's get there and see what it is. What sits behind us is a huge mausoleum, it took me like five times recording now to get that word, of a very famous dude named the Earl who helped to settle this part of the area. Now outside this mausoleum, which the Earl's brother is not buried in there, but the Earl built it for his brother. There used to be this huge statue of the Earl. And all we see today are these little pillars that have fallen over. So all of this was built in the 1700s. And we're gonna touch history. Bunk, 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 bunk. Look at that. Pretty badass. Dude, if my brothers watch this channel, you can totally build me a tower. Like, just don't bury me in it. Because that's creepy. Look at that. Look how, look at these stones. Good job, Earl Brother. Oh, look, we can see some original architecture up here with like where it was carved in the rock. Here we go, I'll let you guys see closer. Looks like we have a newer Commonwealth graveyard in front of us, and then to the left of it, a little bit of an older one, probably from the Victorian days. And we're just surrounded by this beautiful, beautiful scenery and this massive badass house up here. So I'm going to finish appreciating this really cool architecture. It's like 300 years old. And I'll see you when we get We've reached the house. Take a look at this. Look at that. Can you imagine 
living in such an amazing place in the 1700s, 300 years ago. Just think of how many people must have worked to build that. We're gonna go up a little bit closer so you can see the detail of the architecture on the wall. There's amazing architecture. It's so intricate up here. And there's little waves at the very top, which makes sense because over here we have the ocean. The motion of the ocean makes the house stand strong. Yeah? Yeah, there's no GMCA on that. Okay, so let's go look inside. This is cool. Oh look, we have signs. Yes, okay, so I won't have to make up a book. Although, one video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make up an entire false history of what I see. In here is a house that the bishop built. Now the same bishop whose brother is buried right there at the mausoleum. Who is this bishop and why is he so important? I have no idea, but we're hopefully gonna find out. But right now we're standing in what used to be the dining room. Now, as you can probably guess, during World War I and World War II, this was used for the military people to house them and to offer some the shelter and some support. So it's been used throughout a variety of history. Ooh, what is this? Well, this is cool. Is it a kitchen, maybe? Maybe. I mean, there's a sign there, but the sign has had better days. Ah, we missed... We miss some of the house. We cannot miss the house. This was his drawing room. Can you imagine, like, even if you're not an artist, just sitting here? He totally had a window seat, like sitting right here. And he would just sit here and draw or paint. Maybe open the windows for some breeze. Continue on with this drawing. Dude, Bishop, I don't know where you got your money, but damn boy. I like your style. Okay, we're now standing in the winter garden. Now, if you're not aware what a winter garden is, it's kind of like a conservatory. So it would have a lot of paved path here. You can see a little sunken path. There would be plants on both sides, so it'd be warm and humid in the cold, wet, dark winters that we have here in the UK. And there's this massive window that probably would have had one of the most expensive pieces of glass at the time, just staring at that beautiful, beautiful ocean. And up here in the corners, you can see like a little concave uh, architecture thingy. In there would have sat some sort of a statue or something, probably from one of his travels or a gift from one of his, you know, fellow rich people who came to see him. Okay, now just imagine this. We're in this massive hallway and there would have been ceilings on top of this and statues on this side and plants on the side and carpets on the floor where the grass is currently at. How cool would this have been to be the bishop? I think one of his friends, like if I had a house this big, I would totally not want to clean it. Let's go see what's in this porta. It's all beard though. Now in each one of these archways, there would have been some sort of a painting or a mural. We have a cute, cute, probably little bedroom in here. You would have burnt your stove down here and you can see the fire intake taking the smoke out into the ceiling. And over here, this may have been a toilet. How cool would it be to take a poop right here in this little round room? Or maybe it was some sort of a dressing room or dressing down area. Now this is awesome. The little bed would have gone over here. Of course, with some sort of a mosaic on the wall. Okay, Parta! I got distracted. 
from a bedroom. Look at that. We can see some of the original pillars and look how pink and beautiful they are. Okay, check this out. In here, we see some more of the original ruins and you can see up here in the corner, like more bedrooms and stuff. And here would have been another little chapel. Look at that. Sometimes scenery like this makes me appreciate my newly acquired skills of five pin locks. But hey, we're obeying the law today. Hooray. Okay, we're now approaching this circular temple. Now lore has it that the bishop created this temple for his partner and he was super sad when she died. So he engraved on the top some of the cool words that she liked. Now, if you've been to Italy, you may be like, oh, all this stuff looks Italian. Well, yeah, the bishop went to Italy many times and he was super inspired by the architecture out there. So he was like, yo, just build me some of that architecture out here. I have money, let's use it. So this is the Musendan Temple. Check it out. We have some emojis up top. We have a king and a queen little bishop hat representing him and his partner. Now back in the day, in the 1700s when this was built, this was big enough where we're at right now to drive up a horse and a carriage all the way around this. But over the years, because of erosion and all sorts of stuff, if we did that, we would fall into the sea. Beach. Hey, let's look in here. Now this looks like some sort of a storage. See if you can see in there. Okay, so it's closed today. We can't go in. Oh, well, of course. It's mostly up here, though. Maybe we can see inside. Okay, you can't see this, but I can see it. And it's very empty inside. It's a uh, little slate floors. The windows are still intact. It looks very plain and empty. I can't go inside, but I wanted to show you this. Look at these. This is all hand carved. You can tell, like, none of them are the same. That's how you can tell. Okay, this is getting busy. Let's keep exploring and see what else there is to see here. Because if I just stumbled on this, who knows what else is here? Okay, one thing I want to show you guys right now, there's a train track right down here that you can see. Next to this beautiful beach. If you ever get the chance to take the train all the way to London Dury, all the way to the northern tip of North Ireland, you should totally do it. So the train goes right along these tracks and you're able to see the beautiful ocean as you go by. It's something that I've never experienced before I took it. I would absolutely take it again. It's a little bit long, so make sure that you pack snacks or pack water and all of that sort of stuff, because the train doesn't sell those on board. But oh my God, you don't even notice because you're just staring at this beautiful nature. Now let's keep walking down this beautiful little trail and try to get somewhere else that's a little bit less windy, because this is gonna be 
a bitch to edit. Okay, so we've reached another establishment. What is this? It requires a gate to enter. I want to know. Spook. Someone did unlock the gate. We're gonna do that. Oh, another. Let's go in here. I'm very confused. So none of this appears on a map, which I think is fantastic because it's a secret. Okay, let's go inside. What? What? This is so cool. Look at these little shelves up here, you guys. I can't reach them, but you can see shelves all over the place. And there's this massive post in the middle boop, 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 that's helping to hold the ceiling up. Finally figured out what this roundy tower is. So we saw all those little shelves. So those were for doves. So doves can hang out there and they can use their feathers for pillows and for winter. And then if there's a scarcity of food in the winter, you could just eat the bird. So yeah. Now let's go see what's under. So upstairs, we were in the dove house. Down here is where they used to keep all of their ice. So we're gonna go in here, get the spider webs outside of my face, and see. So down here, we'll see if it comes up in the video. Um, it probably goes down about five meters. And yeah, you would keep your ice in there. Because the refrigerator wasn't invented until a long time after the 1700s. And with the ice, like you would put sawdust on it so it didn't melt, and it didn't melt like with the ice next to it. How cool, you could be a bird or you could have ice. Okay, so I saw a sign, you may have seen it in the video, that said walled garden. Now I kind of want to figure out what this walled garden is and where it is because that's kind of how gardens are here in the UK. They're mostly walled. I don't know why. Maybe the plants will run away or something. I don't know. Sometimes the quirks of Britain are weird. But if you've read books like The Secret Garden, then you probably understand that gardens have walls. So maybe it's over here. There's a little path that goes over here. We're gonna go try to find it. Garden! Where are you? I mean, I found a puerta. Let's go see this casa that has La Casa No Tengo. Puertas. Okay, let's see. That was terrible Spanish. Look at this little house. Maybe that would have been a window that's now blocked up. Now I'm not stepping in here because in Oban, I learned that pokey is the girl inside house that look nice and soft and delicate, are really angry and mean and do not come out of your clothes unless you really, really, really put a lot of effort into it. So I'm still getting pokies out of my pants from Oban. That's not the walled garden. Let's go see if it's over here. Guys. I found a robot. I think we have to go see this robot in the walled garden. <laughs> We're going to see the robot. Hi, little guy. How's it going? Yeah. We're a bitch. We're a bitch. So here's my problem with this. The grass is so short. Either the robot already finished or He's just doing AI and I go, go, go. You can do it. You could do it. Okay, I gave that robot some flack, but then I found another robot. What is this? I think this is the walled garden. Even though there's not a lot of garden things, look at these beautiful flowers though. What are they? What? That one's wet. Oh, they're so soft. I wonder how they smell. They kind of smell like a rose. 
Let's go try, ooh, oh, they're pokey. <gasps> Maybe they are roses. Maybe they're like a wild rose or something. How am I gonna smell it? Ah, here's one that's not by a pokey. Yeah, I think they're roses. Okay, let's go through this very pointy arch and see what else there is. Maybe another robot. Found a sign for some of the lore. So take a look at this. Now this is a reconstruction of how it would have been inside the Bishop house. And this is exactly what I saw in the mausoleum. It was just like very empty and there's some windows. And then there was like a little table and I guess you could have put some books and stuff. But up here, this is where you would have seen the little concave uh, things in the wall where there would have been some statues or some gifts from everybody else. Now the sign also tells lore of this bishop. So apparently by the time this guy was age 35, he was appointed bishop of this area. This area at the time used to be Catholic, so bishop made sense since a bishop is the ruler in the Catholic Church. Now, what was really interesting is the guy dressed like a bishop from the Vatican all the time and it pissed off the Vatican so much. But hey, if you had access to a pointy hat and a cool robe, wouldn't you want to dress like that too? I mean, I would. Sign me up. Okay, I left early this morning to get here and I came so prepared. So one thing that's awesome about this place is that there's a little coffee bar boom, boom, right there. So I got provisions. We have some water. We have some artesita. We have a ham and cheese sandwich and coffee. So I'm gonna sit here and have some coffee and recharge and then we're gonna go explore what's next. Cause I haven't planned that out yet. But I do know the last train leaves at 10 p.m. tonight. So that's my plan for today. Let's go explore. Okay, check this out. I was going to the next destination, but I found an original bench from the bishop. Look, you can even see like the little wave architecture down here. And all of the little bunka, 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 bunka. Do you think we should sit on a bench? It's over 200 years old. Let's sit where the bishop sat. Turns out you can make a chair that lasts for 200 years. Okay, one more really cool thing and then I'll stop with the bishop lore. But I love this bishop. Look at this bench. I really like how he incorporated the waves. Because one thing in North Ireland, there's so many waves and the weather and the clouds, like they define, they make the culture here. So this nice little seat, he could have sat, pop a seat right here with his back against this wall, prop up his feet, like that, and just taking a look at his entire gardens and reflect on his travels because the bishop was really, really well-traveled. He had seen so much of Europe, which at the time was really rare because we didn't have cars, we didn't have airplanes back in the 1700s. So really only the wealthy did it and only those who were adventurous and exploring and they were travelers. Homeboy also really liked nature and really liked cool and peaceful things. Props, Bishop. Thank you for exploring the world and for setting the way for other artists and travelers and people who just want to chill out on your seat. I found something. I was going to the next place, but then I saw this place with no puerta. Let's explore. This is so much fun. Look at this old house. Look at this. Let's look in here. Oh, there's Pokey. Ow! 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 So maybe we won't go inside because there's some electricity. Shoo! Ow! Ow! I poked my foot. Ah, I'm stuck on the bush. Okay, this is totally my jam. Oh, let's go in this way. 
just looks a little bit easier. I love this, you can just see the roof coming down. This is so cool. Oh, something's hanging up over here. Maybe you can, oh, I forgot. My camera now has an extension pole. Let's see if you can see. What's up there? I cannot wait to edit this video because I'm going to see it then too. Bathtub! Now it's used for mommy nature. I wonder what this is. Like maybe it used to be some sort of groundskeeping for the bishop's place. Like this pavement here is definitely newer. But these bricks are older. Oh, shoot! What's up with all these shoes? I hope... Um, the owner of the shoe finds them. Let's go look in here. This looks like an old sled. And some old papers. Hello! Oh, look at that old couch. Let's go see. Let's go see what these papers are. What is it? No docket. Let's find one. Here we go. This one's loose, kind of. Loins. Oh, it looks like a butcher. All sorts of like meat stuff. Cooked ham, poultry. Wait, what's the date? Give me a date, guys. Give me a date. Something for 95 pounds and 73 pence. 1973 guys we're in history this is what 50 years old so cool i really like these old i think they're old like sleds or toboggans or something i don't actually know so if you know let me know now this couch has seen better days okay oh door almost here door let's over here okay so these are some windows and it just looks like over time like you can see up here the roof is falling in oh here's an old kitchen Oop, found the other shoe so if someone's looking for shoes you know come to this little abandoned place look at that old kitchen and those stoves this is so cool I'm gonna have to oh sick hello knock knock just to make sure that I'm welcoming. Let's go. Okay. Look at this. Look at this old door. So you can see like multiple layers of paint. So it used to be red and then it changed to green. And then here we have old stove. Oh, okay. This is sick. Look at this. Look at all of these different layers of the wallpaper. So originally it looks like there was some paint on the wallpaper and then you can just see it falling down in sheets. So first we had some like pastels and light colors and then some plaids and then we ended out with this like nice light blue and yellow. I like these little leaf ones. Tiny little stove, tiny little stove too. Maybe this was like a storage place after it was done living in because I see a lot of the same stuff in uh, different areas. And like some old gas tanks, bookshelf. It looks like the bookshelf. There was a little fire in here, it looks like, because there's some burn marks on the stoves, burn marks on the bookshelf. Maybe we can go on this one now. Hello. Yeah, this is like all sorts of stoves. And here we see a blue fireplace. More stove. <laughs> Do you need a stove? Because uh, I found some. Let's come over here. And then those are pokey bushes. I know who you are. We are not going to explore pokey bush room because those pokies take a long time. Ah! Good 
come out, and I may have just stepped in some. Okay, let's go over here. Now over here, I see a roof that's like really collapsed. And really pretty pink flowers. Why is it so empty? I don't know. Ow! Like, look how empty it is. Maybe, oh! I think we're in a barn. Cause like, the hinge here, and this could have just been like, and there's some hay in the corner. Which would make sense why there's so much storage and ovens and stuff just like, organized in order. And this room over here looks really empty, you can't see it. But that also makes sense, oh, the sun today, you guys. It's quite awesome. But it's also squinty sun. Okay, this is what we're going to see. Look how beautiful this is. I love when nature just takes over what man put in there. Hello. This is so cool. Ah. Rope plant. Oh, looks like here we have an old mattress. Let's see if we can look on this side a little bit easier. I don't think we're going in this one. I love these little, little mattress and clothes. This looks like a little dangerous. And I think it might take the shots out of date. So we're not, we're gonna tread carefully. Maybe. More barn stuff here let's yeah this is all I wonder if I could just walk there and go all the way over there let's see what's in here so whoever left this estate here thank you so much it's beautiful 50 years 50 years since it's been what well, since this been used when you know one language and you can't even speak it, that's a good sign. When this has been used. Okay, take a look at this. The sun has come out a little bit and the entire land has changed. We're gonna go into this tunnel bray viewpoint and I'll show you. Look at that. Isn't that cool? A little church, huge ocean, loads of activity. Have I convinced you to come to North Ireland yet? Like this place is so cool. Reach the next destination. Can you guess what it is? La Playa. I'm so excited. It's not rainy and we're going to a beach with like super, super white sand. super high and there's all of these tight pools and so duh, we're going to explore. I think it's time to make a sandwich castle. Yes, I said sandwich castle. Let me show you. Now this is a sandwich container from the sandwich and we're gonna turn it into a castle that mommy nature is gonna eat in about six hours when the tide gets high. So let's go find a place to put the camera and create a sandwich castle. Oh, I should have gotten a shovel. Oh, uh, we'll figure that out later. Okay, so I have no idea if that recorded or not, but take a look at my sandwich castle. Sandwich castle, sandwich castle. Isn't it good? Okay, here's a seashell for how big, how big it is, seashell. Sandwich castle! No, it just needs furniture. Sandwich castle. Sandwich castle. Who says sand castles are just for kids? 
about six hours from now, Mommy Nature is gonna come and have a snack. So now I think it's time that we go see the tide pools because allegedly I've heard a lot of kids run by talking about the tide pools. So kids make up stories. We're gonna go see if they're telling a lie or telling a story. Okay, so I was just trying to get some footage for a, uh, an art project <laughs> and I got so wet and it's amazing. Look, you can see the tide coming in here. So like in the middle, it's super, super deep and it's coming in here and making this little river. So we're not gonna just walk straight. We're gonna come over here. Look at all these seashells. Look at this. So pretty, so pretty. Oh, and this guy used to be huge. Ooh, look at this one. That would make a good shovel. For a sandwich castle. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's this guy? Ooh. Dang. That is dinner. Ready. Hi, puppy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take a bath. <laughs> oh, look how deep this guy is. Now I understand you, dog. That's like, I don't know, 20 centimeters deep in there, maybe? A little bit more? Okay, well, we're not going that way. Although I think I have to. Okay, we're going that way. Okay, I'm gonna get off this beach and go find my train. Thanks for coming and visiting North Ireland with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I think you should come because it's pretty fantastic up here. Like, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Ciao.